Hey friends, it's Dwight. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my studio. So today I'm going to do another pearl pour. I'm kind of jumped on the bandwagon. I'm going back to my roots. I don't know if you've been following me long enough, but I started doing pearl pours about four years ago. I decided to take a break from the dump and swirls. I was figuring I want some white pearls and or, you know, I want the cells to be white. I wasn't quite sure what to call them. So I did some research and I came across Elise Fournier. A lot of her early work, uh, she was doing these pearl pours, but also Bonnie Keen. Now Bonnie Keen doesn't have a big um, YouTube presence, although she did do a collaboration with me, Sarah Taylor, Elise Fournier, and Melly D, where we did pearl pours. So uh, I'm taking a break from dumping squirrels at the moment, and I'm gonna work on these pearl pours. I find them very organic. Uh, they're very clean and crisp, and I think it really looks good on the canvas. So um, today I'm going to be using colors of blue, red, a deeper red, um, some like champagne color, and we're going to do, fingers crossed, um, a flower pour. Now I know some people do Dutch pours and they blow them out to the corners and it looks like a flower. Um, I'm going to be doing sort of, uh, kind of something similar. We'll see how it goes and um, hopefully get some great cells. The other question I um, have to put out to you guys, what's a pearl, what's a pearl pour? Um, I see a lot of people doing what they call pearl pours, but I guess I go back to how it looked to me at the very beginning where a pearl is white, and so a pearl pour is creating white pearls. Now, paints will sell. You mix them with Floetrol and you can get um, different color cells with a different color of paints. So I, I guess, you know, I don't know what, what your thoughts are on that. So I'm sticking with the white, um, no satin enamel, uh, no silicone, just Floetrol, water, and paint. Okay, guys, we're gonna get started here in just a second. Hold on. Okay, guys, here I am. My paints are all mixed up. And let me show you the colors I've decided to use today. Now, we'll be working on a 24 by 24 canvas, so a nice square canvas. I've got it all leveled out. You can see my level right there. Um, yeah, so this is a, a deep red. Um, it's what it's called, deep red by Artist Loft. And I had a little bit left over of the copper, so I added just a little bit of copper in there. So this is DecoArt Metallics, and then it is Berry. So it's a nice purpley plum color. Then of course, Ice Blue, my other favorite color. That's like Metallics. And then I had the Champagne, and I got that from Folk Art. So this is my, I guess, base coat, if you want to call it. It's with my white, Artist Loft Soft Body White. And then this little cup right here is just as a flow extender to go around the corners and edges to make it flow just a little bit better to get everything over the edge. Okay, so I'm going to prep the sides and corners and then we're gonna start.
Hey guys, here I am back with the wet results. This has been sitting for about two hours now, so I think any movement is done. So I need to say a couple things. First of all, um, I didn't use the, the um, champagne color because when I was about ready to run my paintbrush through, I dropped my paintbrush in the middle of the canvas and getting it out just messed up all of the um, puddles that I had laid out. So what I did was I just scraped it. I know this is a dirty word, but I scraped it and um, re-poured with the blue, sort of the red, and then that sort of deeper purpley red, which I don't even see looking at this on here. So this is what I consider a pearl pour um, because pearls are white. This looks white to me. Um, the base coat created these beautiful cells, pearls. And I'll move in and show you. There's some interesting features about some of these. If you look closely enough, well, my phone won't move in, but you can see some of these interesting features. See the edges? They're sort of like, um, not quite fractal, fractals, but kind of like fractals. And I have had this happen before, but usually my paints are really thin, so I'm not really sure what happened. I do have an idea, um, but I'll just have to experiment when I move on and do another painting. But this is what I consider to be a pearl pour, like I said. I mean, it's white, it's clear, it's crisp, it's clean, and that's what I'm going for. Um, I like that with my pores. So if you have any questions, hey, yeah, feel free to um, send me an email at dwightpores at yahoo.com or in the notes below. I'll do my best to answer them the best that I can. If not, we'll see you again later this week, and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, friends, take care. We'll see you soon.